Smash Trap. Welcome back to a very serious episode of SNES Trunk Plays Secret of Mana, although the seriousness, seriousness seems to have dissipated with the music change. But uh, yeah, not going to lie, I think this is going to be the last episode. I'll play for about uh, 10 more minutes, and uh, I'm going to move on to some other stuff. Uh, one of the games I, I, I want to play is uh, Gradius 3, just because I don't... I mean, obviously, there's a reason you don't see very many Let's Plays for shoot 'em up games. It's because it's really hard to talk and play that kind of game at the same time. You play it well, I should say. Uh, I remember Game Grumps did uh, Parodius a long while back, and <laughs> not very well most of the time, but they did progress. But I don't know. I think uh, Gradius 3 is a good uh, gateway game for the genre. It's it's not that hard. Well, you have to put the game on easy first of all, um, and then because uh, it's really easy to stack your power ups and uh, really kick some ass. You get like uh, rotating shields and force fields and tons of weapons and missiles and all sorts of ranged attacks and really it's a good game to get into when. Uh, when you're just starting out on the genre, so I'd like I've, I've had my mind on that for a while. I might do that for a bit. I think where do I want to go? I want to go back to the uh, dwarf village so I can uh, find this underground palace. Since uh, they said um, I needed to cast a spell on a stone in order to freeze the river of chili. River of Lava. It looks like chili. It looks like delicious chili. She upgraded her whip level, so we gotta do that. Yeah, like I was saying last episode, though. Um, oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Get over here. Get over here! Be cool if you could, like, use the whip to grab your other party members and drag them over. Um, now, like I said, uh, Super Nintendo video games, like if you're going to collect anything, collecting video games is, is a good way to go because they are functional collectibles. They don't just sit on a shelf. Like, if you're into, like, collecting action figures or, like, swords <laughs> or, like, you know, whatever. Like, I had a friend a long time ago that collected anything to do with Wizard of Oz, whether it would be lunchboxes, posters whatever and ultimately it just like kind of sat on a shelf and it makes me think of the great scene from the angry video game nerd episode with uh, Nintendo World Championships cartridges where um, Pat the NES punk and uh, the nerd are fighting over the two uh, the two the cartridges the gold one and the regular one and Pat daydreams about uh being at this like award ceremony, being recognized for his amazing complete NES co collection, he's getting all these accolades, and then the nerds, <laughs> the nerds' fantasy of having the the cartridge is just he puts it on a shelf, and he sits there and looks at it, and he, he's all like satisfied looking. He's just like, yeah, <laughs> that's just abs that's just perfect. I totally get that. It's, it's just really satisfying to just have a hobby and collect stuff and once in a while you find that perfect piece for your collection and it's it's really satisfying but for me um, they need to have a little more functionality than just sitting on a shelf like um, that's why I'm never getting a super scope because it's just too unwieldy it's too freaking big it's too uh, takes up too much space and uh, it's really not that great um, what else did I get rid of? And see, I've, I've moved so many times. Um, and then I did the ultimate move. I moved from Minnesota to New Mexico. Um, 1,200 miles. So I really had to cut down on a lot of stuff. I kept all my Super Nintendo games and I kept all the boxes. Although I did get rid of some boxes. I got rid of... I had a Super Game Boy box um, that I dumped. I didn't dump. I sold it to somebody uh, for like five bucks. 
Uh, I had a Lemmings box that sold for like $2, I think. Um, there's a couple others I can't remember. I remember the Lemmings one for some reason, but... No, I still have... I don't know. I'm looking at them now. I've got about 20... Now I've got about like 30, 35 boxes. And I haven't bought one since... Um, probably since Gradius 3, speak of the devil, just talking about that. Gradius 3 was the last game I bought. Complete in the box. I think it was only $20 on eBay. And it's in good shape. Uh, but yeah, I've got like most of the pertinent RPGs in uh, uh, complete in the box. The one I, that I don't though is um, Earthbound. I have the Earthbound cartridge. I have the Earthbound book. But I do not have the Earthbound box. And I have no desire to get the box because it's too big and it takes up too much space. And you have to be all super careful with it to freaking move it. Like, I am I found an apartment down here in New Mexico, um, in Albuquerque, and um, it, it was just going to be kind of like a one-year stop. So I, we could find, my girlfriend and I can find a place better. Um, and it's like, I have to move again in a, in a few months. And it's like, God, just having to move this, like, you know this valuable thing that's you have to be super careful with it it's like it gets old it really gets old and i just don't care about boxes it's, it's a freaking box one box i do care about though that is large and unwieldy is my original super nintendo box that it came in i actually put the super nintendo controllers all the cables back in there i still have the styrofoam too so that actually helps because it does a nice job protecting the system um, but yeah, point is, the point is, uh, video games are great collectibles because they are functional. They're not just action figures that sit on a shelf. You can, they're games, you can play them and have fun with them and revisit them and get orbs for your weapons. I think I have the, oh, Spike Knuckle, that's what the glove was, okay. Oh, the power glove, it's so bad. I'm sure that joke's never been made before. Do I have anything else? Oh, there we go. Oh, look, it turned into Xena's <laughs> Xeno Warrior Princess's circle thingy. Circle boomerang thingy. Okay, now we're going to head into the underground palace. There should be a cave right here. Yes, indeed, there is, and she's stuck on the stairway. Let's go. And here's a little mysterious looking crystal thingy here. We can't cross the river of Chile yet. We need to... Uh... Oh, she doesn't have it. Maybe Clyde has it. There we go. Freeze that shit, Clyde. There you go. That's a good demonstration of the magic right there. And what you can do, since you have to pause the game to access the magic there, you can just spam the shit out of it. You can just keep going, keep going. You like just keep pounding on the Y button and until the game lets you uh, pause it again or go back to the menu again and summon another spell. And you can just keep spack stacking them like that. It's a little ridiculous. I mean, it's every bit as ridiculous as... Um, the, uh, being caught in these damage traps from enemies. Oh, shit. So, yeah, anyway, we are in the... Uh, wow, 75? Are you kidding? Jesus. I think I'm just going to keep going this way. Come on. Uh, just... Yeah, see, I'm picking a good time to... to uh, quit here because I... I I would have to sit here and grind anyway on these guys, and that's not very exciting. And I would have to come up with more stuff to ramble about aimlessly. Jesus. They, these guys do some heavy, heavy damage. One thing that sucks about the computer AI with this is that even though she has a ranged weapon, a whip, she can stand across the freaking room and use it. She doesn't do that. She gets like right up next to him. It's like, hello? Okay, do I have a way of getting around these guys? Shit. Well, Penny, 
guess what? Oh, okay. She actually made it. Well, I switched to her. Can I uh, use candy? Yeah, let's keep her alive for a little bit longer. She's useful. Oh god, these things. These things do mega damage. Let's just keep going. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, this is going to be it for Secret of Mana for me. I'm going to move on to a couple other games before I make it back to Robotrek Part 21. Um, I'll probably be doing um, Gradius 3. I was thinking about doing a game like Magic Sword um, because I would like to be able to do a game that I'm not that familiar with. Like, every game I've done so far I've been really familiar with, like Star Fox and Mega Man X2 and Secret of Mana. Um, so I'd like to do something that I haven't played that much. So, Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on the next game. Have a great rest of your day.